Hi, this is Robbie from Pocket Lab, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, the new integration that uh, Pocket Lab Voyager has with this other app called FeeFox. If you're not familiar with FeeFox, uh, they are an app uh, for physics that uses, uh, that collects data from the sensors that are in your phone or your tablet and they can graph those into their app and they have a number of different really cool experiments in their app that uses uh, that, that use the sensors uh, on board the phone or tablet so it works on Android, um, iOS uh, but they've also built an integration with Pocket Lab Voyager so you can connect the Pocket Lab Voyager to the FeeFox app um, and that's been really cool uh, to, to see that it's just been released uh, and then also, uh, one of our uh, super users, Dr. Richard Bourne, who's posted tons and tons of uh, Pocket Lab lessons on our website, he also created about 10 uh, Pocket Lab lessons that use Pocket Lab and the FeeFox app to do some really unique things. So we'll check that out today, how to kind of set up uh, the integration between Pocket Lab Voyager and FeeFox, and where you can find uh, Dr. Richard Bourne's really great uh, Pocket Voyager and FeeFox lessons. So to uh, to start, what we'll do is you just need to download the FeeFox app. So here's the app here. So I'm just going to open that up, um, and then what you'll see when you open up the app is a bunch of their experiments that they that are on uh, that are on the FeeFox app that use it, that use the sensors on board. In this case, the iPad. Uh, to collect data. If we want to connect to our Pocket Lab Voyager, there's a plus button in the upper right hand corner and you click on the plus button and then it'll give you a couple options. Um, add experiment from a QR code. We'll do that a little later when we show you uh, Dr. Richard Bourne's uh, really cool experiments uh, that he built for Pocket Lab. Uh, but right now if you just want to get connected with your Pocket Lab Voyager to the app, you click add experiment for Bluetooth device and then you turn your Pocket Lab on and there's just going to be a list uh, of all the Bluetooth uh, devices in the area that your, that your iPad or iPhone is picking up or whatever. We have a PL Voyager here so I just click on that and it's getting connected. What it's going to ask is if you want to bring in um, some of the some experiments from Pocket Lab Voyager that they call them. So for this what that means is, um, do you want to be able to connect your accelerom the accelerometer and gyroscope from Pocket Lab, and do you want to be able to connect the rangefinder? Those are the sensors um, that they have uh, set up right now. So you can click uh, Save All, and now what that does is that adds Pocket Lab Voyager to their list of experiments that they have on their app. So now we have PL Voyager, accelerometer, gyroscope, and PL Voyager, uh, Pocket Lab Voyager rangefinder. So if I want to connect the Pocket Lab to the rangefinder, or excuse me, if I want to connect the rangefinder from the Pocket Lab to the FeeFox app, I click on rangefinder, and then I click Pocket Lab Voyager. And now um, it's connected. So to start an experiment, um, I click the play button up here, and now I can just move in my hand back and forth above the rangefinder and we're measuring uh, position over time here. So, so there you can see the Pocket Lab is uh, connected to the FeeFox app. Some really cool things that you'll see with the FeeFox app that you'll see in uh, Dr. Bourne's experiment uh, that he created with Pocket Lab and FeeFox is you, if you have more than one Pocket Lab you can connect both to the app at the same time you can also graph different sensors in the Pocket Lab app uh, against each other. So you can put, um, say, uh, the magnetic field on the y axis and uh, position on the x axis, and you can do a lab um, like about the inverse cube law or something like that. So we'll see, we'll see one of those, an example of that in a second. Okay, so um, what we'll do next is I can now show you how, if, if you want to add um, the experiments that uh, Dr. Bourne created, um, then what you want to do is click the plus button here, and it'll say you want to add experiment from QR code. So from, from here, you just need to go to uh, the experiments that he created on our educators page, 
and you'll be able to scan uh, the QR code for them and upload the experiment right into the app. So if you go to our educators page, um, there's an article that Dr. Bourne wrote um, say about the integration between FeeFox and Pocket Lab. He explains a little bit about how to get your Pocket Lab Voyager connected to the FeeFox app, and he explains some of the different experiments that he's uh, created. And then he put in a QR code here right in, uh, right in his lesson. So all I need to do is uh, scan the QR code with the app. And now you'll see on the iPad here that here are the, uh, he's got about 10 or so uh, lessons that use Pocket Voyager and FeeFox, and you can save all of them right there. And now you can choose from a number of different experiments that are pretty interesting. Um, he's got ones uh, where he puts a Pocket Voyager on two different carts and has them both connected to the FeeFox app, and he collides them and does some um, cool conservation of momentum experiments. Um, he's got some really interesting, uh, interesting things there. You should de definitely check it out. Uh, we can do the magnetic field uh, inverse cube law here um, with a magnet. Um, so if we click on that and connect to our Voyager, you're going to see something kind of unique in uh, in the FeeFox app that the PogoLab app doesn't do yet, which is the ability to graph. Um, the magnetic field data, and instead of against time, we're going to uh, graph that against uh, position using the range finder. So I'm going to put the magnet uh, just behind this piece of paper here. I'm going to start by recording by clicking play. And you can see we get this um, nice curve here and uh, you can kind of zoom in. So you can use this to learn more about uh, the inverse cube law. Uh, I highly recommend you go ahead and download the app. It's on Android, it's on iOS, and check out uh, how you can use your Pocket Lab Voyager with the FeedFox app. Thanks so much.